Hey there guys, I'm Commander Useless, bringing the professional and unprofessional yet again. It's been a while, I gotta say. If you have seen the um, Life Moves On video, you can probably imagine why it's taken me so long to get off my ass and actually do something again. But uh, let's not dwell on that, we're here now, and we're playing some um, Getsu Fuma Den, or however you pronounce it, Get Getsu Fuma Den? Anyways, it is a Japanese game by Konami, and I have found a handy-dandy little English patched version. I say found, but it was actually linked to me by one of my subscribers and a good friend of mine. And uh, he said this game is good. I gave it a brief try. I figured, hey, this is pretty neat. So uh, why not just start a new series? It's pretty short. I don't really know my way around it too, too well, um, but I think we can... Make steady progress without me, like, just running around in circles forever. Anyways, let's unpause and check out the epic, epic story. Ahem. This legend has become like a dream. In the beginning of the Demon Age, the Dragon Master was revived in hell. The Fuma brothers fought against him, but were not able to defeat him, and their Adokens were taken. The lost Fuma swore to retake the Adokens! Ah, you are of the Fuma. Go to the devil and do battle! Yeah, that's our story. I know, it's, it's epic. That, that's as good as it's gonna get. Look at that creepy guy at the bottom. What, what's his problem? He's still moving his mouth even though he's done talking. And he's got a strange egg. It's either the worst Yoshi, Yoshi egg I've ever seen, or maybe it's... Crystal Ball. Bet you're being creepy. Sit back down. Better. Okay, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Why is there a smiling demon face on the on his armor? I mean, look at it. Why? It just looks weird. Oh, whatever. Move on. Continue. Unfreeze frame. Anyways, let's start a new game. <sighs> Which gives us this cutscene again. Great. <laughs> and here we are. This is the overworld part of the game. Which works very much like in your average RPG of the time, or even uh, Zelda 2. A lot of things in this game is quite reminiscent of Zelda 2. And as my friend said, it's also quite similar to uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, also on the NES. Anyways, this little pink ball thing with a belt around it, or whatever the heck that is supposed to be. Maybe some kind of, like, way shrine in Japan? I'm not sure. Uh, there's usually NPCs in these that we can speak to and get hints or some kind of goodies, so... I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and uh, just see what happens. Let's talk to them. Ah, welcome to hell. You are to defeat the dragon and take back your family's great. Adoken! Now go and do battle! Huh. Okay, so we're gonna go find some, uh, some of the great. Adoken! And that, that just weirds me out. Also, uh, I might pass a little fast there, but as you can see, this is a, uh, gate of. of, of I don't know what you call that. It's a kind of gate, I guess. And it's basically a level, as you saw. It puts you in a side-scroller section, and I just wanted to say that to entry these, you gotta spin to win. Just like going down a toilet. <sighs> so, side-scrolling. It's kind of... glidey. Like, it's kind of like you're playing on an ice level the entire time. It's odd. And you swing your sword like, uh... Leonardo and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. On the top there we have a sword meter, which is how powerful we are. This game is kind of like an RPG in the 
aspect that as you kill shit, your sword level, uh, sword meter goes up and you hit shit harder. GP is money, gold pieces. The strange head with the mouth on it is our extra lives. And the demon face, well, we'll get there when we get there. Life, self-explanatory. We can have attack and defense items, and currently we have the wave sword. Anyways, um, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna spend a bit of the first video here to, uh, grind. And yes, a lot of our enemies are very stereotyp- uh, stereotype. Japanese oni and mythological creatures, I believe. Don't- don't take my word for it, I don't know much about Japan. I'm sure there's someone who could tell you more about these things than I could, but... You basically got giant f uh... I'm swearing in there. <laughs> we have giant versions of the Castlevania Medusa heads, which is great. Fantastic. I love those. And mummies with swords. Because... why not? I think the mummies, like, they jump back. No, but there's enemies later that kind of react to your attacks and just kind of jump back. It's just super obnoxious. But yeah, I'm just gonna spend some time farming. Don't mind me. If this becomes, like, uh, too big of a problem, I'm gonna cut out these sections in future parts, but... I figure for now it's... it's... it's alright. I mean, if I gotta suffer in the beginning, so do you. So do you, dear viewers. So do you. But yeah, again, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I don't feel particularly great about that. It's not exactly one of my most proudest moments. But, uh, you know, we're here now, and we're here to continue. I keep making promises about up updating my current playlists, like Full Throttle and uh, East 3, but... I I'm just really awful at picking up old projects. It's like when I play RPGs, you know, I gotta, like keep making new characters when I come back to the game, which is why I never end up finishing a lot of games I play. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't remember much. Maybe I should start over. And I do the same beginning, like, 16 times, because I keep, keep, like, taking breaks from the game. Ah, well. That's just me. We're half dead, but we made it through the first area. Now, if I remember right, I want to go up instead of going down here. I think so, at least. Okay, these guys are terrible. These guys avoid you. But you can kind of mess with them. Oh, I can't get that yet. That item in there? We want that. I could tell you what it is, but that's no fun. We need something to break the rock that was in the way, or whatever the heck that was. Let's see. Or dead fish. From the Deadpool. Now, the trick to this game is it's very difficult until you start leveling your sword power. That thing we just picked up earlier is a health potion, and it's appeared up there in my defensive items. To use items, you gotta hit pause and then select the item with A or, uh, with a or the B button. I think it's I think it's B for defense, A for offense. Offense, rather. It doesn't matter, but... Let's see. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by enemies. And the health potion recovers, I believe it is half your health, so it's, it's, it's a useful thing. And I'm actually raking up a good amount of coins, which is good because I need 200 coins for the, uh, the next part. That house there on the left, that's a shop. I'll be saying more shops, don't you worry. <laughs> you have an odd sword. I saw one like it in a southern cave. Okay, that's actually useful information. I want to head further south. Let's see, is this... Yep, this is... Okay, water? It doesn't look like it. But that shit hurts. Also, the jumping mechanics in this game are kind of odd. Like, it's hard to explain, but, uh, oh god, I'm dying. There we go. It's hard to explain it, but, um, 
like, if you hold down the button, you just can jump like normal. And if you tap it, you just jump shortly. But if you tap it after you jump, like you double tap it, you can like remain the... you can keep the same momentum you had and just kind of glide for the fraction of a second. It, it, it's, it's weird. Like, I don't understand the, why they would do it that way. It's very strange. Man, I wish I had more sword power. Killing stuff in two hits is actually kind of wretched. Alright, these guys who just want to let them do their thing and avoid the projectiles, I was going to say. Are we getting hit by everything? Whatever works. But uh, yeah, I actually find this game pretty fun. It's definitely not one of the worst games I've played. I have, uh... I actually really disliked it when I first tried it. I was like, oh my god, this game is impossible. I hate it. But let me tell you something. This game has infinite continues. And it saves your sword level up progress, which is kind of insane. Alright, who's in here? On these islands, you'll find shops with no weapons. Again, that's uh, pretty good info. I think I'm going the right way. Oh god. I hate these guys. Later on, you fight red versions of those and they, they back off faster than you walk. It's very frustrating. Look at this mess. If I'm gonna lose a life, I'm gonna lose a life right here. Oh, I didn't mention it. The little blue flames and green flames you find from enemies, they are... Well, they look like the typical, like, spirits. Yeah, those things. They look like the typical manifestation of spirits in Japanese lore. And, uh, as you may have noticed, they heal you. Maybe this is... Oh, God. No. Get out of the water! It's toxic as hell. Dead. Oh boy. I might actually have to go through a continue or two before. God. And, uh, some attacks turn you around. It's very frustrating. But I might have to go through a continue or two before this game becomes possible. <laughs> I just need to get enough sword power, and I don't want to farm it too much. Guess that would be boring as hell for you guys to watch. So, I noticed I have been getting a few more subscribers while I've been away. I, I seriously don't know how that works, because I swear, when I'm making videos actively, I lose subscribers, and when I'm gone, I get more subscribers. It's kind of awkward. What's wrong with you guys? No, seriously though, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy that a lot of you still hang around, because I've been gone for like eight months, if, if not more. I'm not very proud of that, but I'm, I'm very happy that uh, you want to stick around for my eventual epic return. Which is probably not that epic, but goddammit I'm here now. <laughs> It'll have to do. And I think this. This is the shop we want. Yes. Look at this guy's face. Like, he's so upset with me. He's so upset. He's like eyeballing me like, oh, you better not lay without buying something. Alright, well, we need this. Oh my god, his face! As, uh, let's never speak of that again. <sighs> Spoiler alert, we're gonna have to see him again. Anyways, remember where we came from and that item we wanted to pick up? Time to backtrack. Everybody's favorite. Oh jeez. No! No, I thought the red ones did that! I've gotten used to the controls. I mean, it's an, it's an NES. How many controls are there really to get used to? But what I mean is the, like, gliding you do when you run around. It takes some getting used to. It, it's not like... It's not bad, though, because even if you glide around a lot, there, there's a certain feeling to it. Like, it's actually pretty tight. Especially since even if you do glide, you can control your jumps very precisely. It's not bad. The only complaint I have, really, is that, um, you can jump in midair. And no, you can't double jump. What I mean is, if you walk off a platform and then jump, you just kind of jump from the air. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but... 
I don't know. I'll try and show it off if I find some kind of steep hill or something to try it on with. That's right. Oh, hey, we, we can kill the uh, frogs in one swing now. Cool. Proof that we are definitely getting stronger. Damn it. But yeah, watch this. You can, like, drop and jump from midair. It's, it's, it's strange. Those guys are one hit too now. Excellent. Soon these guys will also die in one hit. I don't care if they sh if they spit poop at me. John. Not that I'm getting hit by everything, but I almost feel like increasing your sword rank also increases your. Defense. I'm not. I'm not a hundred on that. Okay. Oh wait, wait. I have, oh hey, is what I meant to say. This guy's dying in one hit now. Am I going the right way? I hope I'm not getting lost in the very first video. That'd be, that'd be pretty bad. In other news, I've been uh, playing a lot of Tokiden 2 on Steam. If you like the whole Monster Hunter thing, and if you like uh, Japanese, like, Feudal Japan's kind of style, and if you like anime, that helps. Um, that game is really fun. Like, it's it's uh, certainly a lot more story-based than Tokiden Kiwami was. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. It does have the multiplayer mode that Kiwami did. Actually, I briefly streamed it a little bit. So we equip the sword here. And with that equipped, we can break through these walls. Now we got a new weapon. It makes me shoot a Japanese symbol. I don't know if it's kanji or katakana or hiragana or what have you, but... It's a ranged attack. Also, I totally clicked outside of the window like a scrub. There we go. This guy can attack through the wall, and I can't. That's not fair. Oh god, what have I done? Okay, I have to use a better gamepad next time, because I keep hitting the... I'm using a PlayStation... God, the thing cool stuff. I'm using a PlayStation 4 pad, and if you are not careful, you'll hit the touchpad thing. Which will use the mouse. Which makes you click everywhere. That's not cool. But anyways, with this newfound weapon of ours, we can slaughter these skeletons. I'm not sure why they're dying in one hit, because when I got this weapon earlier, playing this, it definitely took two to kill them, and that was way later, so... I don't know. This is a place I usually farm gold, from these little things. They take a while to kill. But when they do drop gold, they drop, like, a hundred coins. Which is kind of awesome. Pardon the blatant grinding. See, a hundred coins. If I remember right, I think there's actually an extra life over here. If we go this way. Uh, no, there's no extra life here, but we can go this way regardless. I know I'm almost dead, but if, if worst comes to worst... We can always farm enemies for health. Not if we stand in the water, though. Well, I'm actually approaching 20 minutes, so after this area, I think we'll take a short break. Be a pretty good introduction to this game, I think. I'll have to look up how to pronounce its name, though. Getsu Fuma Den? Hmm. Getsu Fuma Den! I don't know, man. I just work here. Actually, I don't even work here. There we go. Also, I didn't mention it, but uh, I am recording this on my 
successful consecutive 28th cycle on this goddamn mud ball we live on. That's right, I'm 28 years old now. Cracky. Crack, crack, crikey. God. English. Okay, let's see what this guy has to say. Hi, Death. Uh, no. <laughs> Man, Death is kind of a dick. Alright, I think we'll pass here. It's been 20 minutes. Pass? Oh, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. It's fun to be back, and I hope to uh, see you in part two of Getsu Fuma Den. Later, guys. Take care.